Welcome to Sunrise Sisters. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kate. And we're two runners who became friends quickly. We share advice, we laugh, and we're taking our runs off the road and into the studio. Are we going? All right, we're going. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Shannon. How's your Saturday been so far? I, I It's beautiful weather outside. Oh, it's gorgeous. I did not run. I'm feeling very flat. Yeah? Why yeah. didn't you run? Well, I, I overslept for me. What's oversleep? I didn't get up till like 6.45. That's wicked late. I was up at 5.45 and I was like, oh, I'll just rest for a little bit. And then before I know it, it was 6.45. I'm like, oh my God, it's dinner time. Like, what's the point? Yeah. Of, just might as well just go back to bed. So I feel off a little bit. I got up and did work. I had work to do. So I wish I started my day. I do start my day that way. If I don't start my day with a workout, it just throws me off. And weekends are weird because I have a very specific, we have a very specific rhythm during the week, right? And that's yes. huge for my weekday. But then on the weekend, I'm always wishy-washy. You know, I'm finding that I'm doing that a lot. And I've got to figure that out a little bit because it does set the tone for my day, like tremendously. So I'm a little off right now. I'm feeling a little antsy. I want to just take my computer and hold it in my arm and go for a run and record this podcast while I'm doing that. That could be fun. It sure (laughs) would. Well, let's talk about that because I did run this morning and I run, we've talked about this in past podcasts that I run with a different group on the weekends. Like we have, I think, a nice cadence of our run three days a week and then we do our other. So we could do our paces, see other people, you know, whatever it is, work flexible. The other schedule. people. Yes, I like the that. other people that exist <laughs> in our lives. But what makes our weekdays is we expect it. Our bodies expect it, our minds expect it. Yeah, our minds. And there's accountability. So when you're not meeting somebody, just as the same as when you or I are not available to run, you are reliant on your own, what is it, your own fortitude to get out the door and do it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but there's sometimes on the weekend where I go, okay, this is a moment where we should be relaxed. We should be open to the schedule changes. We should allow our bodies to sleep if that's what they want to do. But you're right, when we don't do something to start our day, and you and I have talked about this, we turn into big grumps, we, we get frustrated, it, it throws us completely off. Yeah, big time. And I'm trying to figure out how to do my weekends because I have a very set workout schedule during the week. So mm. Saturdays are weird because I say, okay, Saturday is not a running day. It's a strengthening day. But then... The morning goes on and I'm like, I need to run or I'm going to kill someone. And, and, but then it's too late and I don't know what to do. And, um, I just, it, it throw, I always end up running, even if it's like a mile or two, be not, not for anything more than my, my brain, my mind needs it. Um, mm. and then I see people out running if I don't run and I hate them. Do you want to hit them with your car? Yeah, I get so <laughs> jealous. So, and I have a lot of like friends in town that don't know we're friends. So, you know, the usual runners, I'm like, oh, there's my friend. You can tell by their running posture. I have no idea who the person is. I don't know who I am, but you just see the regulars. And then I'm like, oh, he's out running. I'm so mad at him. I hate him, you know? Anyway. It- If you ran a mile right now, just did a quick mile or even half a mile or a quarter mile. Yeah. You know, based on our last discussion of not having to do it all, do you think you'd feel better or do you think it's that you should have, it's that first thing in the morning, it had to be at a certain time. It has to be a certain time. If if I run a mile right now, it would take the edge off. I would, I would feel calmer. I know it. There's a part of me that almost wishes we had enough time that we could pause the podcast recording. You could go run a mile and then you could tell us how you felt, but instead we'll have to do it on our own. We still, have to re- we still have to film me doing my weird chicken dance up the hill, but um, <laughs> you know, I, I hear you. And I think that routine, and I think we've talked about it before, our routines, our ability to be flexible when we're, we need to be flexible. But at the same time, what we enjoy about our runs is that it gets us out there. It gets our stress levels down. It gets our morning going. I know we've, I, I, we've talked about this a lot, but 
you feel accomplished, right? You feel yeah. like you've gotten something big done. And no matter what happens in the rest of the day, you have set yourself up for success. And it's so funny how cranky we get when we don't do that. Oh, yeah. Lots of swearing. Um, <laughs> just being outside feels good, too. You know, yes. Yeah. In the morning, there's nothing like it. So, yeah. Well, I did run today just to be part of your job. Wow, why don't you just throw that in my face? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> ha ha, I'm better than you. Um, actually, it's funny. So it is the long weekend, right? It is the holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend. It's beautiful out. Mm-hmm. And we, um, I run with a group of, it's now three other women. Oh, and that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's like four, four of us and whoever mm-hmm. shows shows, but I didn't put, we usually put a, a text thread. We have a text thread. We put something out on Thursday. Who's up for a run. One of us usually does it. Nobody did it. So yesterday toward dinner time, I'm like, well, it's the long weekend. So I bet everybody has plans. I'm not going to throw anything out, but if somebody does, I'll go. So I, I think I, I had that thought. And then suddenly I got a text who's in for a run. So I said, yes. And then everybody said, yes. So it was all four of us. And to get up and get going was fantastic. I would not have run had they not Mm. met me. Mm -hmm. So I I know I'm running more with them meeting me. And I think I I bet all three would say the same. Mm. So I did get out there. It was really nice out because I think it was only like, 52 degrees. It's perfect. It's perfect running weather right now. Yeah. Yeah. Low humidity. Yeah. Now, the other topic I wanted to talk about within that run group and within our own relationship running, Kate, is the therapy you can get through. <laughs> and I use the words therapy, but the therapy you can get to be able to run with a group. And I did that today. I was talking about, you know, you and I have talked about this, a friendship that had kind of broken up and I had brought them back up to speed that that friend had reached out and sent me a birthday card and how, you know, I was surprising, but then we got into a whole deep conversation about relationships, friendships, people in our lives that have, you know, either we've let go or wanted to let go and, or interactions. Mm. And I just thought, wow, I went a little deeper I, I, what I wanted to start saying is that this friend had reached out and after telling me that they didn't want to be in contact anymore and how surprised I was. And then it turned into, of course, a long discussion way deeper than I expected about friendship. Yeah, I think, well, there's definitely a chemical component to that for women, which we don't have to go into the science, but we, we drop a lot of good dopamine, like good feeling hormones when we're talking and we're moving our bodies. That's just a thing. So you combine those two things. I think, I think also the thing with running, like you and I are on a, I think on a very different level. Um, like we could talk face to face about anything, but I think the, the, the neat thing with running is you're looking ahead I think that lets you be a little bit more vulnerable too. Um, so you tend to say maybe more than you would if you were just sitting face to face with someone. I think that's a, a thing being out and moving your body too, but it even walking running or walking, I think you tend to maybe divulge or get a lot more off your chest than you would if you were just sitting across from someone. I find that. Do you find that? Yes. Well, you. I'm sitting and listening to you beca- and kind of realizing something that I've heard. We'll talk about those experts or other podcasts that talk about this. My therapist has talked about this in relation to my kids, that when you want to talk to a kid and really have a conversation, you either need to be in a car facing mm-hmm. forward, but the best place to do it is walking. Mm-hmm. You're not sitting confrontationally. You're sitting, you're side by side, you're moving. Mm -hmm. And people tend to be more receptive, more open, better dialogue and feel less confrontational. So that part of it, as you said, I was like, aha, that's Mm -hmm. the exact same thing of you feel this openness of conversation that you wouldn't have maybe if you were sitting across from them having a cup of coffee. Yeah, definitely. Well, I know on our runs, we are like, would you say we're each other's therapists? Oh, if it was not for you and running, 
I'd be in jail. I, I would have done something illegal to someone or something. <laughs> and I, or several I people. Be, I would be in, I would, yeah, I would be in jail. It has mentally made such a huge difference. And I think that's why I get antsy. So tomorrow will be my long run day. Today's technically not a run day, but I need to just reset a little bit. Do you agree if we didn't have each other and we didn't have our runs the last several years? I mean, just with everything, like our personal lives, the Mm -hmm. world, if we didn't have that, there is no question I would be in a different mental space than I am right now. Absolutely. And I think it's what's built our friendship too, right? Because we've over a very short amount of time realized how vulnerable we could be to each other. And Mm -hmm. Yes. Over the last few years, it was a non-negotiable that we would, you know, we were going to keep running and it's a non-negotiable for us, right? Like that is going to continue because of not just the running, but the, what we get out of the running and our relationship and our ability to talk things through, or I would even say just to express them, right? Like that. It's not even that every time we give each other advice, it's Mm -hmm. the ability to get out what might be in our heads Mm -hmm. and be able to talk it through, say something, unpack it, get it off our chest and how important that is. And to have somebody next to you running, receiving it and hearing it and accepting it. Yeah. And I think the other thing too is it doesn't have to be your best friend in the whole world. Mm -hmm. It can just be someone that you enjoy running with. And one of the things that I love that you do, I hope I do this for you, is you'll say, do you want me to give you advice or do you want me to just listen? Mm -hmm. And I don't know, Mondays, seem to be my grumpy days. I'm really sorry about that. I've been (laughs) like vomiting all over you on Mondays. My weekends are just been very challenging, but you're such a great listener. I think that's a huge component of looking for a running partner too, is we weren't friends when we started running. We just ran well together and it's evolved, but that's a huge piece of being able to find a running partner is maybe you're just, just, uh, what's the word? Acquaintances. Mm. But great in that aspect of running together and just being able to have someone you can, you know, dump on or work things through. I tend to be able to work things through when I'm running too. Do you do that? You know, if you're having an issue or a problem, even on a walk, I tend to be able to kind of mentally go through how to handle a situation or. Wow. You said so many good things. I do believe that ability to listen and I've had to learn that and you definitely are that person for me and we've actually spoken it out loud about doing that for each other because we're such good problem solvers in our life. You and I, our successes in work, our successes in a lot of parts of our life is because we're problem solvers, but not every situation needs to be problem solved. And the ability to ask that for somebody, because I do think in the talking it out or asking questions, a lot of times you and I have our own solutions or the solution is to just speak about it. Mm Mm-hmm. And know that we'll feel better saying it, even if there's no solution. So I do think a lot of that kind of problem solving comes from just speaking it, getting it out of our heads and out in the world. Right. And at the same time, when you and I do need advice or it's clear and natural, there's a discussion to be had. We do that for each other, right? We give each other different perspectives, different ways of looking at it, as well as things that we're dealing with in our own life that maybe are good examples. Mm -hmm. You and I also are avid listeners of other podcasts and readers of books that are coaching and development and find that academic side or that connective side. You know, man, we love ourselves a good Oprah. (laughs) <laughs> mm, yeah. Good super soul. Yeah. So yeah. Th- we share a lot of insights of y- you've been great lately because you've been really doing a lot of that kind of content of, hey, oh my gosh, have you listened to this? Oh my gosh, have you heard of this one? Oh yeah. my gosh, you should listen to this. And that's been really helpful for me because we share content that maybe each other isn't exposed to. Mm -hmm. to see if it resonates with each other. And we know each other enough now to know what we both attach ourselves to or find helpful, don't you think? Yeah, I think that's just our nature where we're using it to express a frustration or something that we're working through. But Mm -hmm. our minds are so, how do I work through this and not hold on to it and and attach myself to it? So I'm complaining about it every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You know, the goal is to work through it. And I love that we share the things that we explore or learn or listen to help each other through something. So we just move forward. 
just like running, you know, just moving forward and working through stuff and making a little baby step towards a positive direction, I think is huge. I think that's the name of this episode. Just move forward, right? (laughs) Look at you coming up with the name. Yeah. You just said something really important too, that I think is why our relationship as well as our running relationship works so well. We are non-judgmental and we do give space yeah. to that content that if a whole run is a conversation you need to have with me or a whole run is a conversation I need to have with you. We allow that for each other, knowing that the other person is going to be in a better place at the end of that run. And if we have something to bring on to the next run, then we just have this natural cadence of allowing each other space and reciprocity within the weeks of our run. But if one run needs to be one topic and one person, because that person needs to talk, Kate needs to speak that day, Shannon needs to speak, we do that for each other. And I just think that's really amazing. Mm, it is like there's been so many runs where I've done I've literally hit the ground with my mouth open and have not stopped talking the entire time and and vice versa I I love that me too and there's things I tell you on that run I really wouldn't speak out loud to somebody else it doesn't mean we don't have other people in our lives that we are connected to or partners Mm -hmm. to or important to us Mm-hmm. But maybe that's not the right forum, like mm. the ability to have that space, or maybe sometimes you want that talk outside of some relationships. We do that for each other in such a non judgmental way. And I do think there's something really different about that within any other kind of discussion. I, there's something about the running piece of it for sure. So, I, you know, that allows that kind of conversation. Yeah. And it's not that any, it's not, that was something you taught me too. It's not that it's against anyone else. It's for you. That's another Mm -hmm. piece with (laughs) the running Um, partner. So on the weekends, you, you tend to have a group that you run with. I don't run with you and that's not against me. And it's not against the group during the week. It's just for you, what works for you. So you can even have different groups too, that you might run with that work well for you. Um, Yes. I like that. You know, it was interesting one kind of, and it's just maybe even just who the group is. You just brought up something I didn't think about. You and I talked about the same situation and I went deeper, probably in a way of saying things about the relationship that maybe this group, I wouldn't say I'm not going there. It's not because again, it's not that I wouldn't tell them you, I can tell it in one way. For them, they all gave an experience with friendship. And so it was just a different type of conversation, if that makes sense. I think it's because it's a group, there's a trading of info that tends to happen, even if a person's speaking about something going on, where you and I will have a depth in our time. And because we see each other several times a week, I feel like it could allow for that sort of go in a different direction. I don't know if I'm making sense, but for people trading experiences. Yeah and asking questions, you and I being able to dive in it a certain way. I've talked about it over time. You and I, have, you know, we carry conversations forward that uh, because they're long-term experiences. So it's just funny, like how that looks different to each group, as well as what the relationships are, but you're right, but it's not that one's better or worse. They're just different. And to allow for that different perspectives, different relationships allow for different conversation. Yeah. The one thing I love about our connection and our runs is that the the goal of the conversation is to always move forward. Like, how do I work through this? You know, it's not mm-hmm. a complain fest or a, even we talk about good things. We don't complain and, and whine all the time, right? Like we talk about good things too. Absolutely. Um, but it's always about moving the, with the goal of moving forward. And that's, I think, also a motivation of why we run together is Mm -hmm. to be outside, to move our bodies, to start our day. But it's really a very healthy way of working through life. Oh, my gosh. That is profound. And think about it. We do it first thing in the morning and get it untethered. Yeah. And then allows us to show up for the rest of our day. Did you say untethered? I did. Did you say that because I told you about the untethered? The Untethered Soul, my new book. Kind of. 
So good. So share that with our audience. That so this is well, I had I that content. was a book that I told you about a while ago. So I've had the book on my bedside for a good couple years now, and um, just as the universe does, as soon as I need something, it's like here you go. This is what you need to work through this situation. So I've been starting to read that book some more. I've watched his interviews, which are really good, but it's so applicable right now that it's by Michael Singer. I, I just love the book. What I love doing is when you see a book that you really like, I love watching the author interviews because it's mm. like getting a little snippet of the book so you can kind of get an idea and then that kind of helps you go into the book. So I've been, when I don't have time to read the book, I will watch the interviews just to get little snippets. I love what our audience is hearing. They're hearing our relationship and how that helps us through our runs, but also they get like a, an, an actual example of a book that was shared that we talked about and what it meant to you and what you thought you were getting from it. So yeah. that's a... Uh, bonus for everybody that's listening. Yeah. If you have something that's just over and over getting you, comes up for you all the time and triggers you, I think this is a really good book because that can, these things can trigger you over and over and over and you can let them, or you can work through this thing that's triggering you and work it out and let it go. So I'm in the process of that. I have not let go, but I am one step closer. I'm like a mile in, a mile in of a marathon, but I'm getting there. Which is doing it for you. I I love that, Kate. I love that. So Kate, it is the holiday weekend, as we mentioned. It's Memorial Day weekend, but it's also another event, or there is another event happening this weekend. It's your birthday tomorrow. Am I correct about that? Nailed it. You are such a good friend. You are a much better friend than I am. I'm the worst friend. You are not the worst friend. We both have, we've discussed multiple episodes. I think even the last episode about how terrible we are at birthdays and any other sort of special event. But now I have you in my birthday alarm. So even though that hasn't worked great, (laughs) I at least have it in a place I can go refer to. Um, But what are you doing this birthday weekend? It is absolutely gorgeous. It is absolutely blue sky, sun, beautiful. What are you doing? I don't have any plans. Well, I am going to mow my lawn. Um, I might do a little gardening. I'm going to go. I'm going to start my day with a long run tomorrow. So I'm going to do that. Longer run. How far are you going to run? I don't know. Wherever the road takes me. Love that. That sounds very deep. I don't have a plan. I plan on getting up and going for a nice longer run. So, so longer run, will you feel enjoyment and gardening? So I think I would add to this conversation that you and I have spoken about, we're not go blow up the world because it's our birthday. Mm. In fact, I don't even do gifts with my husband anymore. We, we said, we'll save the money that we would buy on gifts because we get what we want Mm. and we'll go on a trip sometime or do something. But I enjoy some solo time. Like, will you enjoy gardening and walking and doing kind of quiet things? Yeah, I'm going to make the most of my early morning tomorrow. That's my plan. Because once the kids are up and moving, it's whatever their requests are, really. So my my early a.m. time is my big time. Well, the truth is many times our birthdays fall on work days and we kind of go happy birthday to ourselves or hear happy birthday and then go do our normal day anyway. Mm-hmm. We're going to go out to lunch though. We'll, we'll try to find, like we have a special place that we went. Was it last year? Yes. Wow. Okay. So that was fun. Mm-hmm. So we should I'd do, like that. To do that. Yeah, we yes. should do that again. Notice my excitement. I talked right over you. Yes. We do that. I'm agreeing with you. So yeah. we need to set that date. Yeah. And I'm about to go on a big trip. So the other thing too is in mm. a week, I'm going on an overseas trip for two weeks for work. Mm. And the other thing we've had to kind of get ourselves, our minds around is we've had a lot of time off from running. So maybe that's our next episode is what happens when we don't run together for a while. Cause I miss you terribly mm. when you're not around or we don't run together. I just try to stay out of jail. <laughs> I do the best I can. I'm not making any promises. Two weeks is an awful long time. So you need to enjoy your birthday and stay out of jail. So, uh, uh, listeners, let's hope there's another episode and it's not just me. It's sunrise sister. <laughs> Turns into Coming to you live from the Wizard Tail House. <laughs> <laughs>
Sunrise Sisters would like to thank Sterling Lancaster Community Television, all of our friends on social media, our listeners. I'd like to thank Brooke Winsman for our fantastic logo. Thanks for listening. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kate. And thanks for running with us.